All right, what's up, folks? I'm here to make a video on Pokestarter. Uh, Pokestarter. Th this is gonna be a little bit more of a more um, uh, heavy TA video because there's there's so many interesting things going on here. So in this video, I'm just gonna run through some TA, uh, talk about what I see happening both short term and long term, and uh, just kind of explain what this is and why I think it should be on your radar because uh, it's been on my radar as of late. So let's delve into this. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Do it for the YouTube algorithm. Helps us out. You guys get to stay up to date with uh, time sensitive, uh, critical, technical analysis. So guys, oh, where to start here? Where to start? So much to talk about. Let me just explain why you should care. First off, I think it's probably the best place, best place to start. So Pol Polka Starter here, Poles, the coin we're talking about today, is basically uh, a launch platform for the uh, Polkadot projects where they can test out their core functionalities and basically helps uh, uh, Polkadot coins uh, launch, which hey is great. It sounds like a great idea to me. I like it so far. Uh, the Polkadot projects have been absolutely killing it. And I've, I find this uh, compelling coin because, hey, it's got like a a lower market cap it's below 100 million you know it's, it's not really a mid cap or it's kind of like on the higher end of the low caps like i think 100 million dollars and under is kind of low cap um so so this is kind of it's a, it's got a compelling idea it's been around for a minute okay it, we've seen some success with it so far so okay yeah is it has got some possible room to go up okay this is so interesting so let's kind of delve into the technical analysis now that we kind of understand what this is and and uh and why uh, it can benefit from from uh this bull run continuing um Let's kind of talk about the tacticals because there's a few interesting things going on. So first off, right off the bat, I uh, see this pattern a lot. Uh, nah, I'd say, I'd say, I was about to say that was a cup and handle. I'd say this was more of the cup and that was kind of the handle. And then the breakout point was basically uh, right around, right around here, around 90 cents, I would say. So we've been pumping and actually if we take the height of the cup to the bottom of the cup and we move this to the let's see if i can get it. there we go move it to the breakout point we can see okay maybe the pump is over right like we've kind of we've kind of moved the extent of of, of what the cup and handle usually gives us whenever we break out of one okay so i've kind of done a, a fibonacci extension to try to understand what this thing can do and i've kind of uh, identified what i believe to be some very key very key areas that that i think uh will will aid uh polka start polka starter uh, in in its movements here i think if we i'm I'll, I'll hash that out but if we if we can get past some key levels i think we're likely to, to see movement here so let's just kind of describe let's kind of just get an understanding familiarize ourselves with the macro pattern uh you know let's look at the weekly i didn't even look the weekly i usually just okay that's why <laughs> yeah so the daily um there's not enough information for the weekly but the daily looks good so far uh macd is so the moving average are on a downtrend but we had a bullish crossover and we're turning upwards good to see bullish uh way to macd bullish going up stochastic up rsi higher highs higher lows it looks bullish it looks good um although our size you could say is in a downtrend but we're getting bullish divergence higher highs and higher lows so everything on the daily looks bullish in my opinion let's take a look at the 12 12 hour uh, bullish, although bearish crossover on the 12-hour MACD, stochastic uh, in the overbought uh, region. So hey, we're starting to see some signs that we could see, uh, you know, some some signs of some weakness. Now, if we move over to the six-hour, uh, six-hour potential bullish crossover in the six-hour uh, weighted MACD bullish crossover, stochastic RSI bu bullish crossover. RSI doesn't seem to want to go down. Let's take a look at the four. So we're, we're kind of seeing um, when we see these different time frames give like contradictory um signals uh that that's not that's not very helpful to 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 understand direction when we see something like that I, you want to place a greater focus on on like the patterns when, when the indicators aren't very clear when there when there isn't a confluence of reason on the indicators although again look at the four hour then the four hour looks bullish and the one hour looks bullish as well so the indicators i don't feel are very helpful the macro trend is kind of bullish we're kind of seeing some signs of some weakness of, of being overbought so ultimately i think the most important thing to understand here is uh oh guys i don't even know where to start there's so much to talk about here is the the fact that we're kind of range bound for this moment Okay, uh, I, God, I didn't even talk about the, <laughs> the Fibonacci retracement. We'll get into that in a second. We're kind of range bound here. And just to explain what I see going on here, okay, we're in this descending descending triangle, let's say here, as soon as we broke out, we pumped. Okay, if we take the height of this, you know, triangle here, we go to the breakout point, you know, we could see uh, potentially a further leg up as well. If we take this Fibonacci uh, retracement, just to kind of explain what it is here. So this is very helpful for understanding what a, what a, any security, what anything could theoretically do. We take the low point to the high 
to the height of the impulse, then the, the low point of the retracement, and this kind of gives us some Fibonacci levels that we're, you know, likely to see uh, resistance, and it's always great when it lines up with price action, because you can tell, so right here, kind of what I wanted to get at here is the 60 cent region is uh sorry a dollar 60 cent region is going to be very very important resistance it's a key resistance level our one of our fibonacci retracement levels are right there and we uh we had a, a price reaction price reaction uh level right there as we can see here, here we're getting rejected off like the off the high 50 cent low 60 cent range so a dollar 60 is like pretty this this whole area right here is uh is very interesting resistance so yes based off this descending triangle we could have a further impulse but dollar 60 is resist resistance now there's also a few other ways we could take a look at this price structure here i mean we could even we can even assume uh like this was kind of like our descending triangle here right and if we take the height of the descending triangle we could say okay this is this is the breakout point maybe we can go to a dollar 80. another thing to consider this this could also be uh interpreted as i mean kind of like a bull flag as well where this is you know we take the the height of the of the impulse uh, to the to the, the to the breakout point. Uh, sorry, that's not that's not how you do it. Uh, then we take the uh, let's just see if I could just copy copy this and uh, and paste. No, nope, that's okay. Sorry, folks, this is my first day. I haven't figured out how to paste on Trading View. That's okay though, because we'll just do this. Put that here, and this tells me. Okay, we 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 could pump even further. Another thing that we can consider here is this looks to me like a potential Elliott wave, especially because we seem to have formed some kind of like just breakout pattern here. So this is kind of like wave one, wave three, this is the retracement, and we could be forming uh, something of a potential fifth wave here, especially if we can get above a dollar sixty. I think this next next leg up uh, could be our fifth wave, where afterwards we have like, like an ABC uh, correction phase as well. So I think honestly, guys, the, the, just to summarize, I know I'm throwing a lot of things out here, but just to kind of summarize the key takeaways of this thing is a dollar sixty, in my opinion, is the key resistance level we need to look out for. If Poke Starter can get above and close above a dollar sixty, not just not just wick above, but close above a dollar sixty, I think we have a very good chance of, of touching a dollar eighty. If we can get above a dollar eighty, I think two dollars makes a lot of sense. Uh, and if we can get above two dollars, ooh, this thing's flying. Really, a dollar eighty, because dollar eighty is the uh, is the all time high, unless you know there's some other chart that you know there, there was a previous all time high. But I'm pretty sure Poker Starter is, is a like relatively new coin. I'm pretty sure dollar eighty is the uh, is the all time high. So just to kind of summarize a bit here. If we can get above dollar sixty, I think we're testing all time highs. If we can if we can get if we can test all time highs and get above a dollar eighty, I think this thing's flying. I think next stop is kind of. Kind of two dollars. I think two dollars will be a stop. Our, our Fibonacci extension is there, and if we take the height of this, you know, ascending triangle, let's see where it lines up here. Should sure we kind of consider this to be the breakout point? Yeah, it takes us to about a dollar eighty. Yeah, folks. But I mean, you could also consider this to be a part of the descending triangle. Um, anyways, I think kind of the most important thing here is our Fibonacci retracements, and um. If we're talking like very macro, very macro long term, could we hit like eight dollars like many months down the road, like a few quarters down the road? Sure, I don't see why not. Another interesting thing to note: if 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 I'm kind of correct about this being like the one, uh, this one wave, two, three, and then we're kind of forming a fifth wave here. Uh, this could all be a part of like a a super macro uh, Elliott wave, where like this is the first wave, and like where wherever the fifth wave tops off. Uh, you know, it could be the, the the first wave, and then we could see like the, the third wave bringing us, you know, somewhere here, something like that. You know, th this is just like something theoretically possible long term. It's it's fun to kind of. Uh, that's not very important. It's just kind of fun to hash out those ideas. Like, oh, this like yes, I think we're forming an L wave here. Uh, but could we form like a? Could this be like the first wave of a very macro Elliott wave? Uh, I think that's definitely possible, uh, especially if we can get above a dollar sixty and a dollar eighty. Then I would consider this to kind of be the fifth wave, and then we have we can expect an ABC correction afterwards. Um, ah, God, I hope I'm not <laughs> I'm not making this too too technical. I'm sure I did, but bottom line is, guys, the important thing is a dollar sixty. Uh, this is a very interesting uh, pr uh, concept. Okay, Polka Starter helping launch the the, the Polka Dot coins. Um, it's been killing it as of late. If we can get above a dollar sixty, I think it's likely to continue killing it. Uh, there's a lot of signs uh, 
pointing towards uh, the, the the bullishness here. Uh, although, you know, we, we could always have a pullback here. So let's kind of uh, go through our, our EMAs here and see kind of where we could retrace to uh, if we do indeed correct. Look at the daily is not telling me. Um, I just kind of want to hash out. I kind of want to see, okay, what's the most important EMA here? Okay, well, you know, the 20 EMA on the on the 12 hours is kind of an obvious one. Uh, I'd say I'd say kind of more significant EMA to look out for is the 50 EMA on the 12 hour because once we had our massive pump and then the correction, we found support exactly there. The the 20 EMA is kind of, kind of a cop out. It's, it's it's too easy. I'd say kind of this range. I'll, I'll draw. I'll make this easier for you guys. I'll draw out a range that makes sense for myself. I think this range right here. It's got an important EMA where we found support below. It's got a lot of uh, volume in this region. So Polka started from you know a dollar twenty six to a dollar dollar seven cents would kind of be the accumulation uh, range for myself. Uh, well, and another in interesting thing to note here is based off this Fibonacci retracement. If we break below the two three six, there is definitely a possibility we could fall down to a dollar. Uh, if we fall down to a dollar and break below a dollar. Uh, I, I was gonna say very news uh, bad news bears, which it would be but there's there's a lot of volume at 90 cents as well, so uh, I think kind of worst case scenario if we start to break below 90 cents I think we need to completely rethink uh, Polkadot's price structure. I, I think it's no longer short-term bullish if we break below uh, 90 cents I think that's kind of like the key key support area we need to look out for and as well the 100 EMA on the 6 hour so the 50 EMA on the 12 hour and the 100 EMA on the six hour are very critical sport. I mean, of course, it's literally that. Yeah, makes sense. It's uh, yeah. So th those are kind of the, the most support levels. Last time we, we pumped and, and, and dumped, uh, we found support exactly there, which the 100 email on the six hour lines up with my with my box area here. I think kind of a dollar thirty to a dollar twenty five is going to act as key support. As we can see, very price reactive. You know, we have these these wicks here, sideways uh, price consolidation. I don't even want to raise. I I, I hate making too wide uh, a support range because if it's too wide then it's, it's not even helpful for you guys i think it might even be helpful to do something more like this um it, it is valid but let, let's try and be more accurate if we can like i think something like this makes a lot of sense. but then i already want to widen it because i see that volume right there right and then and then i see the uh the the, the six hour 100 ema right there so i already want to widen it so yeah, I'd say kind of that makes sense for a support region. Um, if 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 we fall below a dollar twenty, then I'd start to worry about this no longer be short, being short term bullish. And then see, guys, I'm already doing it because <laughs> it's really hard to gauge exactly where we're going to to find support. Uh, oh, let's let's kind of let's kind of simplify this for you guys here. Um, I want to kind of base this off my my Fibonacci's and my volume. So I think I'll, I'll simplify this and I'll wrap this up with this because I know this video is uh, too long already. I think this is going to be critical support for Polka Starter. If we get Polka Starter from a dollar to eighty cents, that's where I would personally be looking to accumulate Polka Starter. Uh, there's no, uh, there's not a guarantee we we fall back down down that low. I think ultimately we really just need to see what way we break out of like this short-term wedge thing we're doing uh you can interpret this as like an ascending triangle something like that e either way we're kind of range bound between a dollar 60 and a dollar 37 whatever way we break out either above or below that will be very telling for future price action as well as this kind of uh micro wedge and these two fibonacci levels you know if we if we drop below a dollar dollar 37 uh, i think this green box dollar is more likely if we break above a dollar 60 i think testing all-time highs in two dollar two dollars is more likely as well and again we could even consider this to be like a short-term bull flag where if we break out bullishly could we go again to two dollars i think so and i think based off of our fibonacci extensions um uh, two dollars is going to be resistance so i can just to summarize a bit here i know i keep saying that key resistance level a dollar sixty a dollar eighty if we can get above a dollar sixty i think two dollars is more likely if we can tackle time highs and get above that i think two dollars is a matter of time folks uh so yeah guys those are my thoughts uh, i i hope you've gained uh, some valuable knowledge uh, out of this i know i i know i threw things 
a lot of things out there, uh, but there's just so much to talk about with this. This is a very interesting project. Uh, this could be a, a potentially very, very interesting coin to even hold long term because uh, these polka dot coins have been killing it. This has been absolutely exploding. If we get above these key levels, I think it's likely to, to um, explode further. It's kind of a, a lowish market cap coin. So it's this one's got a potentially a higher ROI. But just be aware, obviously, guys, whenever you're trading or investing in anything, there is some degree of risk. Okay, check out our Discord group. Link for that will be down in the description below. That's where we talk about news articles, uh, interesting trade setups we're looking at. Uh, if you guys want to trade these markets, I invite you to check out Bybit. Link for that will be down in the description below. It's by far the best exchange we've used god i've had an awful time uh trading on some other exchanges uh be very careful with leverage trading it's extremely risky i never invest anything or trade anything you're not willing to lose as well check out token metrics guys uh we use token metrics to help inform our thought process and our research it's an ai fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions platform they have a, a paid trial it's like uh 10 bucks for a week or something like that check that out link down in the description thanks for watching folks and take care